the imbalance in Cannonball when you were there, Doug? Well, the local explanation was um, being on a reservation is an upside is an Alice in Wonderland. It's upside down. Everything's, you know, different. And so when we looked at the social process there, we we realized that the way that the social process worked on the reservation was that the economic was collapsed. There was really uh, extreme poverty. There was no... Uh, the tyrant in the situation was the tribal politics. So we had the political was the tyrant, the economic was collapsed, and then the culture was in alliance with the political. And uh, in you, what way? In what way was the tribal politics the, the tyrant? All money on the reservation, all jobs, everything came through the tribal government. Uh, and basically, unless it was the, uh, unless you were connected politically, which meant family connections, you didn't get jobs, you didn't get uh, preference for the really where the economics came through, uh, that structure. And then tribal, the cultural aspects fit in with that political structure. And so cultural battles were fought that were really family battles. Like? Um, well, you had the American Indian movement on one side and you had cowboys on the other. So you had cowboys and Indians uh, that were two different cultural systems that were in opposition to each other. But both there in that community? Both there in that community, yeah. Um, and what about the churches? Where did that fit in? There were a couple of churches there, weren't there? Churches? There were churches, uh, but those were also, um, you know, the church decided to uh, kind of divide up the reservation. So Standing Rock was Episcopal Church. In fact, we were living in the Episcopal Parsonage. That's where that was the project house. And, um, you know, so the, the church was there as, and the cultural mix was not just, you know, Vine Deloria said, well, you know, people would criticize Vine Deloria and about the economic development that they were doing on Pine Ridge and, and the loss of Indian culture. And he says, well, what do you want us to do? Go out on the interstate on horses and start robbing people? You know, that would be culturally, that's somehow culturally appropriate. But 